Hey everyone, it's Leandra here at the Kentucky facility for New Vocations Racehorse Adoption Program. Today we're bringing you something a little bit different. We're going to call it Mindful Monday. And in the background here, you might notice Julie's working a horse named Portfolio Hedge. He's a 2017 gelding. He's pretty big and he's just getting back into work. Now, if you're familiar with either previous videos or if you've read some of the descriptions of our horses online, you may have heard probably multiple times at this point us talk about fitness. And you may be thinking, okay, yeah, fitness is great. We all know that as people, as animals, but you know, what's there to it? So one of the things I wanted to bring up today and just something to be mindful of this week or just as you're going about your daily interactions with your horse, especially when it comes to athletic pursuits, is that if you look at the muscular anatomy of a horse, that there is no muscle from the knee down and in the hind limb from the hock down. So for a horse who is evolutionarily a prey animal, they need to be able to react quickly and reacting quickly is not only a matter of timing, but being able to get away quickly. We use that speed element. They're really good at going fast. So these thoroughbreds we're, we're working with off the track horses. These guys have all been race horses. And so we're using that component, their ability to go fast, obviously for the sport. For them, that means being able to convert energy quickly and efficiently. And for them, given what we just talked about, that they have all this muscle on the upper part of their body and none below the knee, that allows them structurally to leverage those lower limbs and that tensile strength of those tendons and the ligaments, which I just combined to say <laughs> tendons, <laughs> but tendons and ligaments to go fast. But 95% or so of lamenesses happen in those lower limbs. So that muscle that's helping them to convert that speed, get the, convert the energy into speed quickly with very little effort is also not there in those lower limbs to protect those tendons and those ligaments. Muscles, their main function is to contract and expand and to allow those to happen for movement. And that happens internally and in a more obvious way, like converting that energy into speed. But when a muscle, in this case, all their upper limb muscle fatigues. So if it's not conditioned, if it doesn't have the right sort of fuel, if you have that lactic acid buildup, then what happens is that muscle can't contract anymore or it slackens, it will relax. And in doing so, it's not gonna help out that lower limb very much. And when it slackens, then the tendons and the ligaments are left to their own devices to try to support this 1200 pound animal in a repetitive motion. And so if you're talking about racing or jumping or doing cross country, something where you're exerting all of that, and, and these guys have such huge hearts, they're really just trying to do what we're asking. So say they're trying their hardest and your muscle starts to fatigue, so it's not contracting the same sort of way and it's relaxing too much and now the tendons and the ligaments are overstraining. And when they have hyperextension like that, those horses are way more susceptible to things like the tendon strains, ligament strains, and even in some cases, more catastrophic injuries as a result of that lack of support. So how do we combat that? Well, there are a lot of different ways. And when we talk about fitness, a lot of times we're talking about more than just supporting those lower limbs. We're talking about back strength to prevent them from developing conditions like kissing spines, because we are of course applying perpendicular force against their spines when we sit on them. So fitness means a lot of different things, but at a very basic element, things that you can do are make sure your horse is getting proper nutrition because if we don't give them the right fuel, they can't convert that fuel very well and we're not feeding that system. Then we want to make sure that we give these horses a chance to build up the capabilities to be able to have functional muscle. So make sure your horse is conditioned for the job you're asking them to do. They physically can't do it. Just like if you tried to hit the gym or run a marathon and you're not conditioned for it, you're going to have that lactic 
build up and you're just not going to be able to do it at some point but if you condition yourself gradually over time your your muscles are going to be able to support more and more activity and then beyond that you're talking about mechanical challenges so at a certain point we have limits and the way that we can properly cater to those mechanical limits are to make sure we are allowing rest periods and just inserting patience into everything that we do. If you tried to enter a horse in a race every day, obviously I think we can all think about how that outcome would come out. Same as any competition, you're not gonna put them in a competition day in and day out and expect them to perform the same or expect them not to break down just from the stressors of everything you're asking them for. So make sure your horse has adequate nutrition, make sure you're conditioning them for the job you're asking them to do and make sure you just bring patience into the picture, allow them those rest times. We all get excited about our horses, especially when they're doing well and we want to be able to compete them more. But unless we make sure that they have the regeneration time, that we're not asking them for more than they're able to rebuild, you know, that's how sustainability works, as if you're using up those resources faster than they can replete, replenish, then, you know, for the longevity of the horse, we have to be mindful, mindful Monday, of those limits. So keep that in mind when you're working your horse. They don't have any muscle below the knee. So you have to be able to have a supportive structure that works all together. We'll build on that. We'll try to touch on more of the factors that influence your horses in future videos. As always, please let us know if there are specific topics that you'd like to learn about. And thank you so much for joining us today on this Mindful Monday.